how is God grabbing your attention? From my understanding and from what happens to me or happened to me and from stories that I have heard from other people, God does particular things to grab our attention to try to get us back on track. Back when I was in sin, <laughs> back when I was in sin, there were main things I believe God would do to me. My car would break down so often or I would get sick, really sick, to the point where I could not sin as much as I wanted. I believe the hardest one would be when my car <laughs> would break down. <laughs> that would irritate me so much back when I was in sin because you know you can't go to work or you can't do what you want to do you can't go hang out and stuff like that when your car is messed up or as I stated before I would become really really ill to the point where I would have to go to the emergency room quite often. When those things would happen to me, I would pretty much have no other choice <laughs> but to humble myself, repent, and in so many words, ask God to help me. But I was a very slow learner back then. I would continue to do the same things over and over and over again. And God continued to mess up my car. I had so many car problems. It makes no sense, no sense. And I would get so sick. It didn't matter how healthy I ate. It didn't matter how much I worked out and went to the gym and jogged and all that stuff there. I would get so sick. Now, you may ask, what is your point? There are some things that God is allowing or doing to you right now. There are some punishments that are coming upon you right now to grab your attention, to get you to stop playing around in sin and come back to God. Sometimes I get people message me and they say, Kevin, I am having problems. What is going on? And when I hear that, my mind goes straight to, you are doing something wrong. Chances are now, there are some people who go through bad things that are serving God. But sometimes, let me say this, most times when people approach me and they tell me that so many bad things are happening to them, it is usually because of sin. Think about this, or let me say this, those things that are happening to you now 
is making you think more about God. Think about it. Because if those things was not happening to you, <laughs> you would not think about God. You would not. No. I know for myself, <laughs> when I was in sin, if God did not get me sick so often, if God did not, my Lord, punish my car <laughs> or those cars I had back then, if God did not do that, there is no way I would have focused upon him. No way. Why? I was enjoying my sin. I did not want to change, but I started to have thoughts of changing when pain came into my life. When much more bad things began to happen to me. So when you are in sin, when bad things are happening to you, it is a good thing. What if, my Lord, what if God would allow you to go around in sin and imagine if God did not say anything to you, did not warn you, did not punish you, just allowed you to do whatever in life. Once you die, <laughs> you would go straight to hell. So it is a blessing that God intervenes into our life and corrects us, allowing bad things to happen to us so that we can focus upon him so that we can change. How is God punishing you to get your attention? Don't see it as a punishment per se, but see it as love. Hey, I am doing this to you so that you can focus upon me so that you can change. Think about that. The bad things that may be happening to you right now, it's not really bad per se. It is to get you back on track. So when you ask me to pray for you so that those bad things will stop happening to you, do you know what you are asking? Those bad things are making you focus on God, but you want me to pray to God to take away the bad things. So once that happens, you are going right back into sin again. It is the bad things that are helping you come closer to God, my Lord. It is the bad things that are helping you come closer to God because if God gave you a perfect life with no problems, you would not think about God. <laughs> Kevin, you know, these demons mess with, messing with me and everything. They are messing with you. Hey, you are in sin, perhaps. Yes, demons mess with people who are serving God, but let's be honest. Most people are in sin. So it is those demons that are encouraging you by tormenting you. That is not funny. By tormenting you. And going through that is making you get closer to God. But you want people to pray for you. To get the bad things to stop happening to you. So that you can go right back into sin 
and do as you please. Does that make any sense? Why would you want that? Why would you want that? Kevin, please make the torment stop so I can get back to my sin and die and go to hell. God allows bad things to happen to you to get you back on track. God sometimes allows bad things to happen to you to increase more in him. Obviously, when you are in your good times, you aren't really thinking about God much. You are not. But it is the bad times when you begin to focus on God much more. I know for myself, <laughs> when bad things happen to me, I am crying out to God. When times are good, I may not cry out to him as intense or as much. So it is beneficial for us to have bad times. I know that you have not heard this from your church or from many people. <laughs> but this is the truth. We run away from bad times, but it is the bad times that gets us connected much more to God. So don't despise every bad thing that happens to you because those bad things, listen closely, those bad things may be saving your life. If you understand what I am trying to say, place everything into context. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.